Hello my beautiful mommies! I'm so excited to jump into this video today because it's a topic that I know a lot of us struggle with. I know I did. I definitely struggled with this. Um, and it's how to wean your toddler. And so I'm just going to share my experiences with you guys in this video. I don't expect this to be, you know, an all-inclusive way of weaning. It's just my experience and what I did and, and kind of just giving you some support. So I have a community of moms on uh, Facebook. You gotta check us out, Savvy Social Moms. I'll put the link in the description box below. Also, if you subscribe free to my newsletter, you will receive a free audio training on how to find the peace within, and it is Christian-based. I will put the link for that in the description box below. If you are breastfeeding, I have breastfeeding videos also. I'll put those down there. <laughs> um, all right, so just so you know, I started really slow, and I think that was key for me. Um, trying not to do it too fast and uh, just taking it slow. Uh, it was around Christmas time that I decided to do this. She was about a year and a half. Uh, she breastfed until she was two years and about a month. I breastfed up until I was about, uh, I was very pregnant. <laughs> I breastfed up until I was three weeks out from having eaten. Three weeks before I had eaten, I stopped breastfeeding Selena and she was like two years and a month. Um, it was around Christmas time, uh, so we did it over about six months, pretty much decreasing her feedings, and we replaced them with snacks and food. Um, when she would ask for it during, you know, regular daytime hours, I would just politely say no or wait till later, and then during those times I would either give her food or other distractions. We would play or do other things during her normal feeding times. So it was just this very polite, like, oh, let's just wait till later, or oh, here's, you know, a banana, or oh, here's, you know, some uh, raisins, or here's whatever it was. Uh, and so also one of my friends encouraged me to decrease the feeding times. So instead, the number of times you're feeding and also the time you're feeding. So instead of us feeding for, you know, 10 minutes, we feed for five minutes or even two minutes. And the point where, I felt like she was even forgetting herself about him. I was like, you know what, I think it's time. I have to let go as well. And like her dad told me, I have to help her to grow up. When I started to feel like it was keeping her from possibly doing things, and I was like, you know what, we need to we need to stop doing this. She can't go spend the night with her grandparents, she can't do this, she can't do that, because she's still feed, breastfeeding. And she doesn't even need it anymore. You know, it's just more like a crutch to her. We're only doing it, you know, a couple times a day sometimes even one time a day. And that's when I decided, you know what, I can do this. And I really had to first decide that I could do this. And then I could decide that she could also do this. I had to tell her that she could do this. So that's the point. I didn't want to wean her just because I was pregnant. I actually had looked up tandem breastfeeding and high gotten support. There's this amazing website that you should check out, Kelly Mom. It has great advice and support for, it's called Tandem Breastfeeding. And I considered it. Uh, now that I've had a baby, I mean, everybody told me, you're going to regret it if you don't wean her. And I didn't get a lot of support, you know, in general about that. Um, I did receive support from the ones that I really needed to, and I appreciate that. Um, but I really had considered doing the tandem breastfeeding thing. Um, I'm glad that I'm not. I don't think she needed it anymore. I was like, you know what, I can do this. Um, unfortunately, it was only three weeks before I had the new baby, and she did have some issues with it at first, but I think she kind of understood like, hey, I get to eat chocolate and ice cream and my sister just has to, you know, drink milk. So I think she kind of got it, but it took about three to four, probably three weeks. And she's, she's not asked for any, you know, breast milk for me for about a month and two weeks. Um, she jokes about it, like she, she'll actually joke like she wants, you know, wants it. She'll put her mouth over it or she'll poke me or whatever, but she's not really asking for it anymore. So it took about a month and a half for that. So what I did finally to get, oh, first I started with the nighttime feedings, I should say, and then I'll tell you how I completely cut it out. I started with the nighttime feedings when she wake up in the middle of the night. I think it was just more of a habit for her. So what I would do is I just pick her up and I would, um, I would rock her and I would sing her to sleep and she would cry and she would scream and she would kick and that was also a time when we were learning how to um, do timeouts and all that and 
that's a whole nother video. Let me know if you're interested in learning how I've kind of helped to get rid of those tantrums for the most part, those two-year-old tantrums. They're not completely gone, but we're doing a whole lot better. So she was having tantrums while, you know, crying because she wanted the milk, you know. But I just I just didn't let up during those nighttime feedings because I needed sleep and I was like, you know, all she's wanting right now is this because it's a routine for her. So once I realized that, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to rock her to sleep and I'm going to sing her to sleep. So that got rid of the nighttime feeding. Sometimes she would still wake up and I would just rock her and feed her until now she doesn't really much wake up at all. And it took, that took a while. That took some months. <laughs> I think she just started sleeping through the night just like completely without waking up. It's about the time I had eaten. And of course now she's not sleeping through the night. I explained to her that she was a big girl. I would give her lots of praise. Oh, you're such a big girl whenever I could. And um, when I really decided to do it one week, I was like, okay, this is the last time. And I think just saying that really made it hard for me. And I started having anxiety. And so I didn't do it that week. The next week I tried it again. I was like, you know, what? I'm just gonna try this today. And if it doesn't feel right, then I'll just keep, I'll keep, I feed her again, and it will be fine. And I think when I didn't put the pressure on myself, it made me feel better. So I did not give it to her that day, and I was okay with it. I explained to her that she was a big girl. I showed her a picture of a big girl with a sippy cup, and I showed her a picture of a baby on her breast. And I was like, you're a big girl. This is a baby. You're bigger like mommy. And I showed her a picture of a woman with a cup. And I was like, you're bigger like mommy. Drink from the cup. Babies drink from the mommy. And um, she didn't like it, but she understood. She's very smart. So I was like, you know, she's going to get this. Um, and and she did and so the nighttime weaning what I or the right before bed weaning what I would do is I, or what I do now is I give her the option of water I always have water right by the bed I actually give her different choices we tried milk she didn't want it <laughs> regular milk almond milk we tried juice she didn't want it we tried tea she didn't want it all she wanted was water so I was like okay cool water's great for you so I give her water we, when I changed our routine, I try to keep our routine pretty consistent, and I really think that makes a difference. So it's like dinner, we clean up the floor, we take a bath, we read, and we sing our songs. And sometimes the order changes a little bit, for the most part, that's our routine, and she she gets it. And so I just hold her. That was another thing I did for the nighttime things. I would just hold her, and she falls to sleep. And eventually, recently, she's become such daddy's girl, she's been falling asleep with daddy. <laughs> and, you know, he was able to, to help with that too, but I needed her to know from me that you could still be around me, be with me, and not drink, you know, milk from me, and we're still us, you know? And that was, it was just really a hard thing. But that's really what I did. I hope that it helps you. Um, just the distractions, the postponing, and um, coming up with a routine that works. And also, if your child is understanding, they're old enough where they understand, explaining it to them, showing that they're a big, you know, big girl, big boy, I really think that makes a big difference. I think she got it, you know? So, anyways, don't forget to log on to ashantel.com, become part of my Savvy Social Moms community. You'll also get that free audio guide on how to find the peace within. And I also have lots of things that I'm posting there that you may not be seeing here. So you definitely got to go check it out. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you very soon. Have a good day. So we never got it up and I was like, so much has changed that we just <coughs> need to... I know. We need to just get in here and do this again. So here we are. And let's go through what has happened with this girl.